Hey y'all, welcome to my table of three friends. My name is Carrie and I'm so glad you stopped by again today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make two easy side dishes for your Thanksgiving meal that you can make a couple of days ahead. You can make them one to two days ahead and store them in your refrigerator and they'll be ready to go and cook on the day of Thanksgiving. So we all need a little help, you know, making time and getting all that food ready for the big meal, right? So hopefully these two recipes you'll find helpful. They are super easy. They are going to be a potato cast, like a bacon ranch cheddar potato bake and a, a corn pudding, basically, which is just like a cornbread pudding mixture. Uh, it's not a pudding like a dessert, but it is a little bit sweet thanks to the Jiffy Mix. Maybe you've tried them already. Maybe they're new to you, but it is two of our favorites here in our family. And I thought I'd share you with them today because who doesn't need more make ahead recipes, right? So let's jump into it. All right. So this corn casserole or corn pudding is going to come together really quickly, guys. It's using just things you can get out of your pantry and your fridge, and that's it. No frills. I'm not even using, <laughs> not even making my homemade cornbread. So like I told you before, these are two sides that our family loves. They're really easy, and it's not something that I have to spend a lot of time on, like my dough uh, for my sourdoughs, for my cornbreads, my dressing, all that. It's just something really simple. So, yep, one can, one box of Jiffy uh, cornbread mix or corn muffin mix. This is not what I call cornbread. I like Jiffy mix in some applications like this, but I don't use it for my cornbread. I make that scratch with cornmeal and buttermilk and all that. I'm just going to kind of get some of the lumps out. Yeah, this is no shame in my game. When I make this stuff, I make all my a lot of stuff from scratch, but I also like doing some of this. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna add in our eggs. Okay, we're gonna do a half of that's um, one egg, one large egg. Now, if you're feeding a crowd, you may want to double this recipe because people usually like it and it goes fast. Now we're gonna do one cup of sour cream. Yes, my. Hands are clean, but we'll use that spoon. Put this napkin over here. I'm gonna do one more. So one cup of sour cream. This is a half a cup measure. So there's that. And then one stick of melted butter. And this recipe, I'm, it's not my recipe, guys. I just get it off the uh, web site. We've made the same one for years, so I'll just link it below. You guys may be familiar with this all the time, but maybe you didn't know that you could actually make it ahead. This side dish can be made the morning, you know, even a day or two ahead. You just mix it up, put it in your sprayed casserole dish, and then cover it really tightly with foil and put it in your refrigerator. And then you pull it out and bake it when you're ready. All right, so that is our butter, our egg, and our sour cream, and our Jiffy Mix. The next thing you're going to do is one can of cream-style corn. Get it all out. See how easy it is? And then one can of whole kernel, <laughs> whole kernel corn, and I drained it. Sometimes I've used uh, um, frozen when I didn't have the can, but that's it. And you're going to mix it together. Now, you could add jalapenos to this if you want to spice it up. That would be really good. If you want to put um, some spices in it, like paprika or garlic powder, you can do all that. Just remember, this is going to have a sweeter taste to it because the Jiffy Mix is already sweeter and corn is a sweeter vegetable. So, I like the jalapenos in it to balance the heat. I'm not going to do that today because I'm just doing a basic corn pudding for you guys. And I like this because, like I said, when I'm doing my rolls and all that and everything the morning of Thanksgiving or the special holiday, you can make this ahead of time. I do as much ahead of time as I can. I've even made this two days ahead and put it in the fridge. So, I think I may actually need a larger casserole dish. So, let me do this. Let me grab my larger one really quick. All right. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to use that other one for the potato casserole that I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so just pour your baking dish and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. Okay, this one is just as simple and I'm gonna link the recipe below as well. My mom makes one like this. Uh, every Thanksgiving and Christmas, people love it and ask for it. 
Hers is a little bit different, but I am going to do kind of a mixture of hers and the recipe that I'm going to link below. So I'm going to add my boiled potatoes. I went ahead and boiled those before I started recording to save some time. Then I'm going to do one tub of sour cream. My mom adds ranch dressing and sour cream to her, so that's a difference. But I'm trying to do as easy as possible. <laughs> Then I'm gonna do um, uh, crumbled bacon. I'm just using bacon bits because, hey, that's what I have. And I, don't, I do have frozen bacon in the deep freeze, but I don't wanna thaw it and cook it and all that. So real bacon bits. Now, this is not in the recipe I'm gonna link below. And it, my mom uses green onions, but I'm out of green onions. So I'm gonna use about a third of a cup of chopped red onions. You could leave them out if you follow the recipe below, or if you wanna use, some, you can just simply add, I'd say probably four or five chopped green onions. Now this recipe also calls for a cup of cheese. My mom doesn't put cheese in hers, I don't think. She puts it on top. So now we're just going to mix it up. This one's a little bit thicker than my mom's, I think probably because she uses the ranch dressing too. I mean, it ends up getting thick when she bakes it, but. All right. So once I get this kind of mixed, um, you want to add also, you got the bacon, the cheddar, and the potatoes in there. Of course, it's called ranch potatoes. So I am just gonna use a packet of ranch dressing. I, sometimes I have my own that I make on hand. I don't have any right now. So I'm just adding one packet of dry ranch mix. This is where it's gonna get a lot of the flavor. And salt. Potatoes take a lot of salt. But, you know, the cheese is a little bit salty. Those bacon bits are a little bit salty. Even if you use fresh crumbled bacon. So, I recommend mixing it all up first before you salt and pepper it to taste it. Because you don't want to get it overly salty. That ranch packet has a lot of salt in it. Alright, so I'm going to taste it really quick. I'm just going to kind of... Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna grab the salt, because I think it does need a little bit more salt to it and pepper, and yeah, I'll be right back and show you how I finish it up, and then we're gonna get it in this casserole dish here. Give me just a second. All right, salt and pepper. This is gonna come to taste, you guys. You can also try more ranch if you'd like to, but it's really important to taste as you go, because it's all about your preference. Probably added about a half a teaspoon, but like I said, measure if you need to, taste and go. And this, I'm going to put more cheese on the top of this, but since I am making these a hand, technically, I'm going to show you how they turn out after they're baked. But you would stop here and put it into your dish. Let me try it one more time. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So you mix it all up and we're gonna put it in our baking dish. Now, if you, my mom was saying, all you really have to do is heat this through because it's cooked, right? You boiled your potatoes. And so what she does is she boils her potatoes and she also makes this ahead. She says she just about always makes it the day before, but you can even make it a couple of days if you wanted. So at this point, you could um, wrap it tightly, put it in the refrigerator, and let it chill. And then when you're, uh, you know, overnight or whatever, if you're making it ahead of time, on the day you're ready to bake it, pull it out, let it come to room temperature a few minutes because you don't want to put a cold baking dish in the oven. Put it in the oven, and um, we are going to bake it. And when I get ready to put these in the oven, I will tell you guys how long each one of them bake and at what temperature. But... If you're making this the day before Thanksgiving, wrap it tightly, put it in your fridge, and you are gone. The only thing you have to do tomorrow, or Thanksgiving, it's not Thanksgiving, but the only thing you have to do the next day is to pull it out, put it in the oven, still wrapped, and cook it until it is hot and bubbly. When it is hot and bubbly through, you would sprinkle cheese on the, take the foil off, sprinkle cheese on the top, and cook it until the cheese is melted, and it is finished. Now, I'm going to come back and talk to you about both of these dishes, like more about how you cook them and serve them. 
Okay, so that is our two really quick make ahead Thanksgiving side dishes. Very simple, even a new um, cook or someone that's not used to cooking Thanksgiving can make these two sides and people would enjoy them. Let's talk about baking of the corn casserole. I have the oven preheating over there to 350 degrees. I'm gonna put this in there and this will take a long time to bake, you guys. Generally, it probably takes about um, an hour. I think the recipe that I'm gonna link to even mentions an hour. But after about 45 minutes, I start checking it because it takes a little bit to get done all the way through. You don't want to leave it undone because there is an egg in the, this mixture. So that's the corn casserole, 350 for about an hour. Start checking on it about 45 minutes in. Just make sure it's done in the center and it is called corn pudding. So it's going to be softer. It's not going to set apart like a cornbread, but you do want it firm to the touch on the top. Your bacon, cheesy bacon ranch potatoes. If this is coming out of the refrigerator from being made ahead, you're gonna to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees and put this in covered. You wanna bake it probably for about 30 minutes covered, pull the cover off, make sure it's getting hot and bubbly. If it is hot and bubbly by then all the way through, then you can add your cheese and then cook for another 10 to 15 minutes, 10 minutes probably, because basically you're just melting the cheese on the top at that point. If you're making it the day of Thanksgiving or when you want to serve it, you can boil your potatoes, mix everything up, and they're already warm. Cover them, put them in the oven, cook them at 400 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes, just until they're really hot. Pull the cover off, put your cheese on top, and cook for another about 10 or 15 minutes just until it's melted and bubbly, and you're done. So that's it. I'm going to come back in a little bit and show you after I bake these two and show you what they look like um, when you dish them up. And hopefully these two side dishes will be something that you consider for your family. Maybe you're needing something new or maybe you'll actually already make these two side dishes. If you do, let me know in the comments if you made them before and if you enjoy those. So let me get them in the oven and I'll be back shortly. All right, so my potatoes actually cooked for about 350. I uh, own 350 for about 45 minutes. I took the cover off and I'll put the cheese in it and I'll cook them for another 10 minutes. My corn pudding or corn casserole is finished. See how beautiful golden brown it is? It cooked for exactly an hour at 350. I'll bring you back when the potato's done and show you what they look like. All right, you guys, there they are. They are out of the oven. You can see how pretty they are. So creamy and so good. We're gonna taste them right quick and see if I don't burn my mouth off. The corn casserole's been out a little bit, so it shouldn't. Mm. This is one of my favorites. So good. I'm gonna show you the texture of it. Of course, the phone rings right now when I'm trying to record. Nobody ever calls us on the home phone. But can you see that, how creamy that looks? It's so good. Hopefully it'll focus. And now let's take a look at the potato casserole. You can see the bacon, huh? It's real hot. You can see the smoke coming off of it. That's Nate talking over here. So I'm gonna blow on it a little bit. This has bacon and cheese and sour cream and ranch. So it's just an all around good potato. You could have this instead of mashed potatoes or even alongside that if somebody wants a different kind of potato. I'm gonna take a smaller bite because I don't wanna scald my mouth. These are both so good, guys. You cannot go wrong with these, especially since you can make them ahead of, ahead of time. Whip them up a day or two ahead of Thanksgiving. Take some pressure off of yourself. Even if you are just taking a couple of dishes to somebody else's house, these are two great ones that you can whip up on Tuesday or Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Keep them in your fridge and then pop them in the oven when you are ready to bake them. Um, just allow about an hour or so for both of these dishes and you will be good to go. They are both amazing. They're going to be crowd pleasers, so you might ought to double those. So, thanks so much for watching the video today. I hope these two easy make-ahead Thanksgiving sides have helped you. And let me know in a comment, what are some of your favorite make-ahead sides for Thanksgiving? And have you tried either one of these before? Don't forget those recipes will be linked below in the description. And until the next video, you guys, I'll see you later.